In this video, I will show you how to create objects which will represent as push buttons or indicators like an indicator light. So first we'll come over here and on your top of the window you see the word objects. So you click on it one time and you see a whole choices of different types of objects you can add push buttons so I'm gonna go to push button and I'm gonna make this one a maintain because it's gonna be a combination on off when you click on it you have to move your mouse over to the screen see how it turns into a crosshair all right left click and drag to the size that you want so I'm gonna leave it about this size right here so that is my push button. Now I am going to do a indicator, which is going to be like for my indicator light. So click on multi state and just drag it ever how big you want it. Now if you look and see most of the both of these look identical. So one is a push button, one's an indicator light. So I want to click on the indicator light. See how you have the little selection made go to format click one time and scroll your mouse all the way down until you see the word shape right now it's rectangular so you want to select circle now you have two separate icons here so if you look and see where your text is located you can come in this window on the state zero could be off so when I click one that's what it looks like when it's on. Go back to zero. Now you can click right here and justify your vertical lower or back to the top. So I like to keep my text in the middle. Do that for the zero states and also for the one state. I'm going to do the same thing for my push button. Now I'm going to change it to 1 and put that in the center also. So this is how you add a push button and an indicator. <clears throat> Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to address these objects right here. The previous video we actually created tags and here's the window again that we've done on the previous video. I'm going to go back to my screen one. So when you double click on your push button, for example, go right here where it says right tag. Here are all the tags we created. So this is going to be my start stop push button. Now, this is a single bit. In other words, it's either going to be open or close. And I'm going to leave it as normally open. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to come over here to my indicator also. I'm going to double click. Now, if you notice, I don't have an option of a zero or a one state or a single bit. So, what I have to do first is go to my states here. Over here, I have zero, one, two, three states. So, if you click on three, on the number three, hit delete on your key keyboard. Do the number two also hit the leak now you have only two states so if you go back to properties now I have the option to select single which is basically an on and off state so I want to do zero because I want the light to be off unless the PLC turns it on now I'm ready to read my tag this one is located all the way to the bottom of the screen and this is your pump run indicator that I want to do. Now I'm going to go into my edit tag just to make sure all my addresses were fine. We already, when we created the tags, all these addresses got put here. The tag name and the type is also a bit, and also your node name. Node has to be your PLC. Click OK. And I've done the stop, start stop button already. So this is how to address a push button and an indicator. On the next video, I will show you how to change the colors and the text message also.